Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Wednesday 8th, May 2024. Wednesday of the sixth week of Eastertide. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Let us listen to the word of God. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi, joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had been stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a, to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, do, do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them, he took them in at that hour of the night and bathed them their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided the meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. 
Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus talks more about the Spirit. You know, Catherine Coob was one of the 52 American held hostage for 444 days by Iranian in 1980-81. She remembers how angry mobs used to shout outside the embassy almost around the clock. One night, she dozed off momentarily. Then she was awakened by what seemed to be movement on her bed. She says, I turned quickly expecting to see one of my guards. But no one was there. I was reminded of the Holy Spirit. After that, the Spirit became close to her. She says, He was teaching me love. He was teaching me to accept. He was teaching me to be open to new ideas and new understanding. You know, in short, Catherine discovered what Jesus promised us in today's gospel. That I will send Him, the Holy Spirit, to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. See, the expression convict the world or prove the world wrong means something very special. It means the world will recognize on its own that it was wrong. Remember the religious leaders who crucified Jesus on Good Friday didn't believe they were sinning. But when they heard Peter preach about the crucifixion on Pentecost, they were seized with terrible conviction that what they had done was wrong. See, friends, how sensitive are we to the Spirit's movement in our life and in our conscience? See, how sensitive are we to the Spirit's movement in our life and in our conscience? See, the Holy Spirit sees the world as a teaching device, a means for bringing us back to God. Every time we say we believe in the Holy Spirit, we mean we believe that there is a living God able and willing to enter human personality and change it. See, the work of the Spirit is to impart life, to implant hope, to give liberty, to testify of Christ, to guide us into all truths, and to teach us all things, and to convict the world of sin. When we have the Holy Spirit, my dear friends, we have all that is needed to be all that God desires us to be. Amen. The Holy Spirit completes the mission of the risen Christ. Jesus sends him to us as comforter and guide in our journey towards our heavenly homeland. Let us pray for the Holy Spirit to be at our side and let our response be, Lord, send us the Advocate. Lord, Lord, send send us us the the Advocate. advocate. That the Holy Spirit may convince the world concerning sin, that Jesus died to save us from sin, and that we are no longer slaves of sin. We pray. Lord, Lord, send send us us the the Advocate. That the Holy Spirit may convince the world concerning righteousness. That Jesus is justified and glorified by the Father. And we have the possibility to participate in that justice and glory. We pray. Lord, Lord, send send us us the Advocate. 
that the Holy Spirit may convince the world concerning judgment, that by the death and resurrection of Jesus, we are spared from the judgment reserved from the beginning for Satan, the ruler of this world. We pray. Lord, send us the Advocate, that we may not miss the presence of the Lord Jesus, for his Spirit is dwelling in us and is interceding for us. We pray. Lord, send us the Advocate, that the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead give eternal life to our dear departed brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, send us the Advocate. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays, Cameron Dawson, Asuncion Saraspi, Fiona Co, Trixie Biato, Joanna Dolot, Yanni Francisco, Nicole Lainez. And we pray also for the healing of Maria Lourdes Rausa Chan, Romeo Maglalan, ASB, Cherry Ocampo, Michelle Salvador, Estela Marina Garcia, Tisha Aganon, Karina Ali, Abi Puno, Seth Berhel de Jos, Joaquin Patawaran, Doris Orejana. And we pray for the repose of the souls of Eduardo Echaos, Teresita Tagura, Ani Hizan, Pasita Chong, René Saquizan, Floy Quintos, Thor Alvis, Bienvenido Tiño, Natividad Arcilia, Marita Andalfin, Alfredo de Guzman, Lourdes Sobreviñas, Elmer Yanga, Dr. Edwin Trinidad, Emilia Arbis, Ali, Father Antonio Leicia S.J., Father Joseph Carl S.J., Father Joseph Smith, Sister Rosmarita Galang, Arlene Kerol, Emilia Arbis. We pray for the special intentions of Sandy, Annie Bautista, Karina Clindineng, Murph and Kat Carlos, Joanna Alberto, Andre Yap and family, Hans and Susan Santos, Ginger and Carlos de la Fuente, Annie Francisco, Elo Santiago, Nate and Hans, Mini Mamuri, Sister Volet Kalingasan, Frank and Pinky Cuenco, Marvi and Tony Pineda, Eds Henuino, Connie Unson, and Hannah Bautista Gonzalez. And we also pray for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan. We pray. Lord, Lord send us the advocate. advocate. Father, when you lifted up Jesus in your glory, you sent us the Holy Spirit as first fruit of his resurrection. Through the same Spirit, make us truly wise and rejoice always in your consolation. Amen. Uh, the Almighty Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It would be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who Nestor, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Good morning, all of you.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé